Sometimes I start to think that maybe I should try to get sponsored by the flip chart people. Is that posted? I don't, I don't even know. I think posted. I think that's mostly what I use. I use a ton of them. Like I use a lot of flip charts. We use them to capture information during learning teams. And there are a couple reasons that I really like to use flip charts. The first one being is that it gets that information up and in front of us. It adds a bit of transparency to the note taking process of a learning team. We all love, like our favorite thing is when we're in a meeting with people and I'm sitting in the corner with my super duper secret squirrel journal, you know, scribbling super duper secret squirrel notes. And uh, we, are, of course we hate that. Because the only thing I'm thinking is what the freaking hell are you writing in your stupid journal? I wanna see what are you writing, I'm saying something. When we're writing those things out on those flip charts, we're putting that stuff up in front of people. It's transparent. You can see that we're capturing things accurately. You can see, maybe if somebody's scribing, that they're capturing what you mean. Uh, you can see those things. And then another piece of that is that it just kind of jogs our memory. As I'm sitting there as part of a learning team, I can see, well, you know, Jane talked about that and Bob talked about that. Oh, but they forgot. It helps to kind of drive that thought along through the process. So it's transparent. It's up in front of us. We can see it. We can scribble on it. We can doodle on it. It's awesome. I, I, I love, I absolutely love flip charts. Now, I'm not going to tell you that there's one right way to do just about anything. I hope you know that about me by now, that uh, there's probably about a million right ways to do the same thing. There are probably infinite right ways to do the same thing. A lot of companies that I work with, they use flip charts. A lot of companies that I work with, they plug up that old handy dandy PC to an HDMI or they're super fancy pants and they've got that cast thing, right? Yeah, cast thing, that's pretty cool, huh? And they pull it up on those gigantic flat screen TVs in that conference room and they're just typing away as they go. It's awesome, it works well. Some of them, use notebooks, uh, but they use them well. It works for them. Some people use different types of apps. They use different things like that. The only thing I'll tell you is probably avoid whiteboards. And I'm going to tell you a story because I remember the very first learning team that I did, one of the very first, at least, that I did internal to an organization working like actually in a company. I was pumped. I was super excited. I was freaking nervous. I couldn't let these people down. These people on this learning team, what if I disappointed them? What if this didn't work? I, 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 I couldn't disappoint these folks, first and foremost. Now, a close second to that is that I wanted things to go well because if things didn't go well, like I might get fired. Like this could be bad. Like change is scary, but holy crap, like I, these people are depending on me. The organization is depending on me. It could end up bad. So I'm nervous. I'm freaked out. We're prepped up. We're ready to go. This is weird. It's different. It's wacky. And I'm the lunatic that's convinced them to try all this stuff. So we go into the whiteboard room and you probably have a whiteboard room. You probably know the whiteboard room, you know, where you have whiteboards on pretty much everything. Sometimes even the floor, you just spin in your chair and make like really cool doodles. We go in the whiteboard room. We do this learning team and it is awesome. Session one. It is amazing. It is awesome. I leave there energized, pumped, excited. I can't wait to come back. Same time, same place tomorrow. Whiteboard room and move towards improvement mode. I'm so excited. The room is just covered in context. I go home, I can barely sleep. I don't think I slept at all. I've got my own little soap time happening there, staring at the ceiling fan at 2 a.m. not being able to sleep. Come in super bright and early, I'm excited. Stop and get my cold brew on the way super early. I've got some pep in my step. I'm whistling, there's rainbows, there's butterflies. It's cool, I'm excited. I walk in, I put my key in the door, I open the door, flipping the light and there's nothing there. Whiteboards are the devil. I'm just gonna tell you. We had some amazing housekeeping staff and they did just as they were supposed to and that room was spotless, including the notes. Okay, yeah, Dumbo here. I, yeah, I could have taken a picture. Of course I could have. Yeah, that, that might have worked. Yeah, of course, I wrote do not erase, but it's a whiteboard full of crap. Like, nobody saw that. Yep, woulda, shoulda, coulda, coulda. Call the housekeeper and said, avoid this room at all costs. Pictures could have done a bunch of different things. Now, to make this story a bit shorter, we recovered and it was just fine. It was still very much fresh on our minds and we were able to piece that back together pretty quickly. Some folks in the room uh, were a bit smarter than me and did decide to take at least a few pictures. So we had a good starting point. It just added a little bit of time to get those things back on the board. But I love flip charts. You can roll them up. You can take them with you. I would tote them back to my office when we would get done with these things. I would extract all that information into some notes. I would send those out to the team members, get them to tweak, tune, and adjust what I had translated into a Word doc. Get them to do all of that before I would ever share it with any of the rest of the organization. And it worked extremely well. And I would keep them because they really told a story. And if you're like me and maybe you have a bit of a flair for the dramatics, there's something about walking in there with that patchwork quilt of eight or 10 flip chart pages that you've got all stuck together, 
rolling them out across the floor in the executive C-suite and talking about the story of normal work. The whole point here though, maybe other than just sharing with you a comical story uh, at my own expense, and my own frustration, my own misery, there's a few things. I wanna encourage you to go out and give learning teams a shot. I was nervous, I was scared, I was freaked out. It was new, it was different, it was weird, it was wonky, it was strange. Guess what? Didn't die. Yeah, and it was awesome. And it was a start, at least in that organization that I worked for, of getting this entire ball rolling around operational learning. Learning sometimes takes a bit of courage. Sometimes it takes just going out and giving it a shot. So I would encourage you to pick a safe to fail something, probably a pre-event pain point problem issue, something interesting, small scale, safe to fail, and just go out and start operationally learning. I love flip charts, but you can use whatever works best for you to capture that information. I shared with you all the reasons why I love flip charts. Can you use a whiteboard? <sighs> you can, just don't be like me. Can you plug in that computer and take notes? Can you scribble in a journal as long as it's okay with everybody else in the room? Absolutely. This whole story is to tell you that it doesn't matter how you capture it. It doesn't matter if you're like me and you love flip charts. It doesn't matter if you love your super duper secret squirrel notes journal. What really matters is taking a bit of that flexible framework, figuring out how it's gonna work best for your organization and going out experimenting with it, giving it a shot in a small scale safety fill setting and learning your way through it, tweaking it and adjusting it and getting better over time. And if you know anybody at the, uh, I think it's Post-it, yeah, if you know anybody at the Post-it business that would love to start sponsoring us in our efforts to grow operational learning improvement, uh, I go through like hundreds of flip charts a year, so it would be very helpful. Thank you, bye.